Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're talking about, again, weapons from this season that you need to get, boys. Boys, let me tell you right now. If you guys are Destiny 2 veterans, y'all aren't gonna know this list like the back of your hand because most of the time, these weapons either were like, Ugh, like no one wanted them, or most of them, which were, yo, this weapon literally slaps everywhere, everywhere. And we're obviously going to start with the first weapon, which is going to be actually before we start, if you guys enjoy these videos, like rating would be appreciated. A sub, all that shit would be amazing. I'm starting to do this in the beginning of the video because reasons it would be awesome if you guys can support me in that way. But let's get on with the video. The first weapon is going to be last hope boys, 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 boys. Let me tell you, let me tell you, man. I remember last hope. I actually remember last hope. I've been playing Destiny 2 since beta, bro. I still have, I still have footage from beta. So I've been here a while. I've been, I've seen all the metas. I've not participated in most of the metas, but I've seen most of the metas and boy, oh boy, let me tell you what. Last Hope was uh, definitely one that I did not participate in because I hated that weapon. <laughs> I hated it and I was just like, fuck that. You will never see me use that gun. And I'm a liar because now I use that weapon. Oh my God. Guys, let me tell you. Let me tell you the roles you can get with this filthy fucking weapon. So, Last Hope, you can get Feeding Frenzy, Quick Draw, Grave Robber, Range Finder, Field Prep, and Firmly Planted for the first row. The second row, you get multi-kill clip, dragonfly, rampage, zen moment, tap the trigger, and hit fire grip. So let me tell you boys right now, y'all want to what y'all want to be really fucking gross? Like you really want to just destroy anuses? Feeding frenzy with multi-kill clip, rampage, hell, fucking dragonfly would be gross. You want to be like an extra filthy dude? Quick draw, literally anything. Grave robber, literally anything. It's range finder. It's range, bro. I'm. I got so ecstatic when I saw this weapon. Not because I was like, oh, I'm so excited, but mostly because I was like, fuck, this guy. This better not have any good rolls. What? Ha what did they have? Good fucking rolls, bro. Oh my god. So, the role that I have on my hunter right now is feeding frenzy with rampage with a rampage spec on it just to be that extra ghost i have gotten so many fucking kills with this weapon it's filthy it really is i feel bad sometimes sometimes but what would be the roles that i would be going for honestly every role every role is good like you got feeding frenzy with multi-kill clip dragonfly in my opinion would be awesome rampage that's it actually you could do tap the trigger tap the trigger is pretty good quick draw with multi again the same ones from the from the last column I would do Grave Robber. If this had Swashbuckler, oh my god, this would be gross. Range Finder would tap the trigger. It'd probably be the fucking grossest one if you want to do range, bro. If you want to be real gross about it. But I ended up doing Feeding Frenzy with Rampage. In my opinion, Feeding Frenzy with Multi-Kill Clip would be amazing. But it's just that the fact that Multi-Kill Clip is a little harder to maintain than Rampage. Because Rampage, you just got to get, you got to get that kill. And that's it. It stays up. Multi kill clip, you have to got, you have to remind yourself like, all right, one kill, and then I have like maybe like two seconds to like get another kill, or I have to reload. There's a lot of thinking with multi kill clip, which I do like, but rampage on this weapon with feeding frenzy, bro, it's so effortless. It's not even funny. So obviously, I really like this weapon now. I used to hate it back then, but now it's oh, it's awesome because you never see it like. Uh, that's what I love this shadow meta that happened with like uh, sidearms. No one's using it, but like you could tell the people who like know what's up are using sidearms because it's it's really gross. It, it it just slaps, bro. It just slaps. So I'm gonna stop gushing over this weapon. Let's go to the next weapon, which is the old fashioned. So now you're hitting me on a spot that I personally loved. I actually had an old fashioned back in the day, not on my PC account, but on my PS4 account. And this shit was wild. Oh my God, that shit was wild. I actually had the Dire Promise version of it though, which is the Dead Orbit version of Old Fashion. And that one had, what is it? Th like three tap or whatever it's called. But I also had it for the PS4 version and it was amazing. It hit hard, it like three tapped, almost two tapped sometimes. It was, it was filthy, it was really gross. Hit hard, hit hard as 
fuck, actually. I think it's still the hardest hitting fucking hand cannon. I might be wrong on that, but from what I remember, like off the top of my head right now. But what does this have? Like, what does this have that makes me want to jizz? So, slide shot, demolitionist, feeding frenzy, firmly planted, quick draw, and pulse monitor for the first throw, and then kill clip with snapshot sights, explosive payload, surrounded, moving target, and hit fire grip. So, immediately, y'all already gonna know. Feeding Frenzy's there? Oh, Tony's gonna pick Feeding Frenzy. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna pick Feeding Frenzy. I love Feeding Frenzy. <laughs> I really do. Feeding Frenzy with Kill Clip. De actually, Feeding Frenzy with Kill Clip, Snapshot Sights, Explosive Payload, Moving Target for sure. I would do any of those four for sure, like to be honest. But I wouldn't just do those. I would do for sure Quick Draw and like Kill Clip. Oh, Quick Draw and Snapshot Sights. I know that sounds weird to a lot of people. But the fact that I'll be able to not only take this gun out fast enough, but fast enough and to like aim down sights faster than the other person might is really gross. And I would want to do that. And that's why I want that role. But if you're just going to ask me, Tony, like, what's the role? Like, you can't choose like, like you can't choose your God role, but what's your next best thing? I'd probably tell you quick draw and kill clip, to be honest. I know I was like, people are like, oh, feeding frenzy. Feeding frenzy is nice. It really is. But most of the time, the reload speed on this weapon's actually not that bad. It's pretty bearable. So, not even bearable, it's good. Like, it's fine. So, Rampage, I mean, Feeding Frenzy is nice if, like, I coupled it with, like, something else. Kill Clip, probably. But Quick Draw with Snapshot Sights would probably be my close second. Actually, Quick Draw with Explosive Payload would probably interest me a little more. But my God Roll, obviously, would probably be Feeding Frenzy with Kill Clip. And then like some mods that increase my ammo and then maybe range so yeah that'd be my god roll uh probably if i wanted to have my cake and eat it too i'd probably have drop mag with quick draw and then kill clip that'd probably be one i'd go for because drop mag i know it's horrible but in pvp it's not bad i actually really like it i used to hate it but now it's pretty good so that's old fashioned. This is gonna be a good gun to farm if we ever find a way to farm it like really well because the only way to efficiently farm these is to go to the Cryptarch and just destroy what like destroy a bunch of legendary shards on him. And you might like that's the thing. These all these weapons that I'm gonna be talking about, the loot pool is really garbage. Like it's just it's everything. It's everything in the game. Not well, not everything, but everything that's a world drop. Last Hope, the Old Fashioned, Uriel's Gift, everything that I'm going to be talking about right now, that's what's in there as well. So for you to get a God Roll is going to be very, very difficult. Hopefully these do not go away after this season because that'd be stupid as hell. So next one, obviously, you probably already heard me say it, is Uriel's Gift. Now, I know a lot of Destiny 2 veterans are immediately ass clenched, like immediate memories of trials of the nine getting marked by 15 uriel's gift i know i know tony i don't want this gun coming back you're alone on that because i want this gun to come back i love this gun i actually used to use this weapon when trials of the nine was a thing i still have footage of me playing with my friends and using this weapon and i'm not gonna lie i used to love this weapon a lot it was one of my favorites so what does it drop with firmly planted quick draw field prep dynamic sway reduction grave robber and triple tap for the for the last column it's tap the trigger kill clip disruption break moving target under pressure and shield disorient so immediately for me i would have put this as the number one because i used to use this weapon it has very dear memories with using this weapon it's just the fact that the rolls are really bad in my opinion i would have preferred anything anything like the steel feather repeater like anything like that like that thinking would have been amazing but i do understand why they didn't do that is because this weapon already slaps like well what, what did the old one have like field prep i think and some other stuff like the old uriel's was not a like a god with the perks it was just the gun itself was amazing so i think that's why they didn't give it anything crazy but i mean Tony, what would you use? I what would I use? I would probably use quick draw with kill clip to be honest. I feel like that roll would be nice. Quick draw on a auto rifle. Do you need it? No, you really don't. Do you want it? 
Yeah, you kind of do, dude. It's the fact that you can take out your auto rifle that fast and just lay into someone. To me, in my head, like just immediately, I want that. Not only that, but something I usually never talk about: scopes. You're gonna want to go with a, like a Signal MS5, Impulse MS3, Transmission MS7. These are gonna be the long scopes. These are gonna be the ones that increase your zoom, but not only that, but your range as well. With the Impulse MS3 being the one that increases your range the most. This is where this gun really does shine because the range in this weapon can get really fucking nasty. So this one's probably going to be harder to farm mostly because it has a lot of shitty rolls that I really don't care about. I mean, I'm not saying firmly planted sh or field prep are shitty rolls. It's just that for this weapon, it is. So for me, at least in my opinion. So the next weapon is going to be Hawthorne's Field Forged Shotgun. Now, usually I did not care about the shotgun really did not interest me in the slightest the only reason is it interests me now is because of one perk so let's talk about the first perk full auto trigger system grave robber field prep firmly planted and underdog and the second one being demolitionist one two punch surrounded opening shot and the next the rest doesn't matter i don't care about i have the storm maybe hip fire grip but honestly tony what do you want to be using obviously you want to punch with grave robber these two would be filthy homie oh my god like just thinking about it makes my nipples fucking hard so what i what would i use obviously one two punch and, and uh, grave robber that hands down like why are you even asking homie that's this would be an awesome pve weapon to have i don't know about pvp i wouldn't necessarily use it for pvp because it's going up against like other PVP weapons. So for me, this would be a PVE weapon first and foremost, but even then like it's gonna have to do something really crazy for me to stop using my one small step considering that has auto loading holster with one, two punch and it has eight rounds in the magazine. So it'll, it'll have to do a lot of things for me to be like, okay, I'm gonna stop using it. So next weapon, Elatha FR4 did not use this in destiny 2 ever just because i didn't care for it and we had the other fucking the other it's, it's it's the one everyone uses i forget what it's called so let's look at the first perk quick draw firmly planted field prep no distractions that's weird hip fire grip and grave robber interesting second row is going to be demolitionist backfire backfire backup plan kill clip surrounded snapshot sites and threat detector so in my opinion you would definitely be using something like quick draw with backup plan oh man you'd piss off a lot of people if you did that man especially if you get like backup plan with with quick draw with what's it called accelerated coils which yeah it does have with accelerated coils and then maybe like one of the scopes not only will you be able to like map people, but you'd be able to map people faster than they could like even look at you. So that'd probably be the god roll for PvP. PvE, I, uh, I don't, I don't kill clip. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, here's the thing, man. I don't know a lot of people that use fusion rifles for PvE, but if you're out there and you're like, Tony, please don't make fun of me. I want to use this in PvE. What do I use? field prep with th surrounded or kill clip there you go my boy uh random dude who uses that field prep with surrounded with maybe liquid coils for the increase in impact and then maybe either a scope or the torch sr3 which is like a red dot i would use i would use that if i was told that i needed to use a fusion rifle so yeah there you go you're welcome my boy so last and last and definitely least is the moss epoch 3 so this is a grenade launcher which i have or i mean this is a rocket launcher that i have no interest in and for the first row you're going to be able to get auto loading holster tracking module moving target threat detector range finder for whatever fucking reason genesis for the second row you're going to see quick draw cluster bomb disruption break shield disorient snapshot sites and again kill clip for what ungodly reason would you need kill clip on a fucking uh, rocket launcher so 
I can already hear hear people asking, who would I use? Would you use Tony? I, I need to, what would I use? I would use anything else other than this. I would literally use a fucking sword over this. This is, it's it's a rocket launcher, bro. Rocket launchers are garbage. And even then there's other like rocket launchers that are better than this, but like, I can already hear people telling me like, but it has dragon module and cluster bombs. <sighs> I mean like, Bad Omens has that. The curated role for Scourge of the Past has Bellowing Giant that has that. It, I don't really care about this role, to be honest. I don't care about this weapon, to be honest. If you're gonna use it, I mean, use it. If you like, if you're gonna use it for PvP, I think a really viable one would be Tracking Module with Quick Draw. If you're using this for PvP, P PvE, I don't know why you would use a rocket launcher for PvE. But if you're gonna be weird. Then uh, auto loading holster with quick draw. That's the one I can think of. I would say cluster bombs. It's just that cluster bombs got a nerf, so they're not even worth using anymore. So that's pretty much it. That's the video. That's all the weapons that are returning. I would have put the prophecy weapons, but I don't care about them. First of all, and then second of all, that video th that video would have been way longer than this. So. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me know what you guys think about the weapons themselves. Which guns are you going to be using? Which guns are you excited for? Like I said, I'm excited for Last Hope and the Old Fashioned. Uriel's Gift, I would have been more excited about if they had better perks. But I want to hear from you. What are you wanting to get in this season? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links on the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. Likes, follows, subscriptions, everything. I appreciate it. Other than that, we'll see you guys later.